Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chargers and the Colts coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room. The great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Side as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What, what stands out to you, Brandon? I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers and find where exactly on the field the defense is vulnerable. It's the game within the game. And if you really dive into it, it can be endlessly fascinating. will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave what the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. Throwing his fouts. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And uh, he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big game that time for the Chargers. We had an idea that they might come out and challenge the secondary, but I don't know if we thought it'd be right out of the gate on the very first play of the game. But they did so successfully, they've got to feel good about how things have started. No. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Powering forward, and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Second and four. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Fouts to throw. And he'll get this one complete to Winslow. 
Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and it passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Touchdown, Chargers! From 19 yards away. And the Chargers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You've got a rookie quarterback charger on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who have helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. On first down. Dickerson and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, it's Manning. And his throw is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Manning going to throw. Getting this into the hands of Eric Dickerson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot 
do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. The Charles first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. To throw is Manning. James has got it, complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play, because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. The Colts send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. I have to be thrilled with that first drive that got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Fouts. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. To throw his fouts. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now a throw here, hold in. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Only needing two yards on second down. Now a give right side. Means, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. I haven't been a defensive coordinator yet. The think second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Fouts. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. 
but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now a handoff here to his running back. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Fouts. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Back to throw. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43 yard line. Looks like a nine yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down and close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They'll run on first down. Dickerson, and he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. But both teams practice this situation, and this time the guys on offense won, and in a very nice way. What a run from that position on their own goal line. Gave him some good breathing room. I wonder now, do you still stack the line of scrimmage, or do you play normal defense? They may have backed him off with that run. On second down now, Dickerson. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Somebody's play calls. I think they're a little conservative. Well, you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and then think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Manning going to try and throw on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. The Colts send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why, looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. 
On first down, Means. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Kirk's territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Second and four. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. Well, the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come Let's out go. to the 25-yard line. Indy set to go on offense once more. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. A carry for Dickerson, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. What an advantage having an elite guy to build a defensive line, because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On second down. Dickerson, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Whenever we talk about the best guy in safety, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed out hard there. He was ready for that running play. 
The Colts on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, Manning. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Earlier in the quarter when the defense was keying on the run, you said offensively they need to open things up, take some shots downfield. Didn't work there, but they did it. Yeah, I'm not going to change my tune now. I still think it's the right play because when you take those shots downfield, you open the eyes of the defense to what you could do to them, and that may open some things up for you offensively. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This one caught by Winslow. Three yards the gain there, second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Bring it. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Middle of the field to Jefferson. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Second and five. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 27-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Now, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After a huge play, the field converted. 
So that challenge a successful one. Second down at seven. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Chandler. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip tap, tip tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third of inches. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers will extend their lead here just before halftime. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Point after, right down the middle. And yeah, that makes our score 17-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Colts about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And they'll take over with just 18 ticks remaining. Just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they were on the other end of the spectrum in terms of passing efficiency. That's going to need to improve in the second half to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 